Thank you for taking the time to view this video on Medicare Part A. This video is presented by Senior Pharmacists, a nonprofit organization located in Durham, North Carolina, that provides free of charge Medicare counseling to Durham residents that are on Medicare or about to join Medicare. This video is one in a series of videos designed to provide you with information on the various parts of Medicare so you can understand what choices you have and make the best choices for yourself. As indicated in this slide, the information being provided in this presentation is general in nature. There are exceptions and special circumstances that may affect how this information may apply to you. When selecting Medicare plans, it is very important that you consider your own personal situation and make choices that are good for you. A counselor can help you navigate through the various Medicare options that are best for you. This slide shows an overview of the various parts of Medicare and the options you have in choosing how you want to obtain Medicare insurance. In general, there are two paths you can take to obtain Medicare insurance, Original Medicare on the left or Medicare Advantage on the right. The difference in the two paths will be covered in other videos. The key parts of Medicare are Part A, hospital coverage, Part B, medical coverage, Part C, Medicare Advantage, Part D, Medicare prescription coverage, and Medigap, Medicare supplemental coverage. This video covers Medicare Part A, hospital coverage. Medicare Part A, usually called hospital coverage, covers your medical costs while you're in the hospital after you have been admitted. This includes inpatient hospital care, and sometimes what follows hospitalization, such as rehabilitation, blood tests conducted while you're in a hospital. Part A also covers the cost of blood while you're in a hospital after you have paid for the first three pints or have three pints donated annually, the cost of staying in a skilled nursing facility, and home health care. And finally, Part A covers hospice care and certain inpatient non-religious, non-medical health care and approved religious non-medical institutions. Signing up for Medicare Part A is automatic for many people. If you are receiving Social Security benefits, Social Security will automatically enroll you and send you a red, white, and blue Medicare card. Your Medicare card will identify the date your Part A benefits begin or the Part A effective date. If you are not receiving Social Security benefits or you don't receive a Medicare card, you must enroll in Part A. Enrolling in Part A is done by contacting Social Security. You can enroll in Part A using one of the following methods. First, by going online using the link shown to connect to the Social Security website. Or you can call Social Security at 1-800-772-1213. Another way to enroll in Part A is to go to your local Social Security office. If you choose to go to the local Social Security office in Durham, I suggest you call to make an appointment ahead of time to avoid a long wait. It is important to sign up for Medicare Part A before your birth month so that your coverage starts on the first day of the month you become eligible. You may sign up for Medicare Part A starting three months before your 65th birthday. For example, if you are born in October, you can sign up starting in July. If Part A is premium free, you may sign up at any time after that. Keep in mind that your coverage will start the first of the month after you sign up. Also, if you are born on the first day of the month, your coverage will begin the first day of the previous month. Please note that Part A is premium free if you or your current or former spouse paid FICA payroll taxes for at least 10 years or 40 quarters. 
the 40 quarters do not have to be consecutive or have been from the same company. You must have earned $1,410 in a quarter in 2020 for a quarter to be counted. If you or a current or former spouse paid FICA for fewer than 30 quarters or 10 years, you will have to pay a $458 monthly premium to receive Part A. If you or your current or former spouse paid FICA for between 30 and 39 quarters, you will have to pay a $252 monthly premium to receive Part A. Also take note that if you owe a Part A premium, you may only sign up without a penalty during your initial enrollment period, which is three months before your 65th birthday month, your birthday month, three months after your birthday month. If you are making contributions to a health savings account, you should stop making contributions six months prior to enrolling in Part A to avoid possible tax penalties. If you are admitted to a hospital and you have Medicare Part A, there are costs that you will be responsible for. First, you will have to pay a deductible of $1,408 for each benefit period. The benefit period begins the day you enter the hospital and ends 60 days after your last day in the hospital or skilled nursing facility. For example, if you were admitted to the hospital on February 1st and leave the hospital or rehab facility on March 10th, the benefit period would end on May 9th. If you had to be admitted to the hospital again after May 9th, you would have to pay another charge of $1,408 as a new benefit period would start. In addition to the $1,408 deductible, you may also have to pay a coinsurance for your hospital's day, depending on how long you were in the hospital. This slide shows how much you would have to pay for each day you were in the hospital. For days 1 through 60, there is zero coinsurance for each benefit period. You would not have to pay any costs. For days 61 to 90, it would cost you $352 coinsurance for each day of the benefit period. And days 91 and beyond cost you $704 coinsurance per day, up to 60 days total over your lifetime. Here are a few other things to note regarding Part A costs. Days 91 and beyond are called lifetime reserve days. Once you have used up your 60 lifetime reserve days, you are responsible for all costs for hospital stays that are longer than 90 days. There is no out-of-pocket maximum for Part A costs. There are many sources available to help you understand Medicare Part A and navigate the Medicare system. To set up a free appointment with a SHIP counselor, call Senior Pharmacist at 919-688-4772. To learn more about Senior Pharmacist and get access to additional videos and other material, visit their website at seniorpharmacist.org. You can also call the North Carolina SHIP Office at 1-800-408-1212 to speak to a SHIP counselor. You can also visit the North Carolina SHIP website at the link shown on this slide. You can also visit the Medicare website at www.medicare.gov for more information. For more information on other parts of the Medicare system, please check out these other videos on the Senior Pharmacist website at www.seniorpharmacist.org. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please check out the others. Thank you for watching.